Okay, we're going to look at uh, percentiles, quartiles, and deciles here. Here's a couple of examples of what we mean, and then I'll let you generalize the uh, definition. By a 20th percentile of a data set, we mean a number P20, often written like that with the P in a sub 20, so that no more than 20% of the data is below this number P20 and no more than 80% of the data is above P20. Uh, sometimes we talk about quartiles. By the third quartile, that's the same thing as the 75th percentile, we mean a number Q3 or P75, so that no more than 75% of the data is below Q3 and no more than 25% of the data is above uh, Q3. Okay, let's look at an example and actually do some calculating here. Here are 10 data points, so that's our sample. Uh, they're listed here and plotted uh, more or less accurately on the y-axis. Suppose that we're interested in finding the 20th percentile. Okay, then we know that we want no more than 20% of the data below that number and no more than 80% of the data above that number. Okay, we know that there are 10 data points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we want no more than 20% below that amount. That means that two of them need to no more than two of them need to be below and 0.8 that would be eight of them above now what that means is at two of them below and eight of them above we could p2 could be any of the numbers in between here and here so how are we going to decide which number it should be some people argue that it should be the halfway point we can find that we know how to find a midpoint 1.5 plus 3, find this value plus this value and divide it by 2, will give us the midpoint. That would be 4.5 divided by 2, and if my calculations are right, that will be a 2.25. I want you to notice that that's equivalent to doing this. Taking that 1.5, I want to be closer to the, I, I, I want 1.5 to to contribute half of the value, and I want three to consider to contribute the other half of the value. Run that off in your calculator, and you'll notice that it also gets you 2.25. Okay. Now that's not the only way that <clears throat> the percentile is calculated. Notice by the definition, it could have been any one of the numbers in between here. Some people argue that since we're looking for the 20th percentile, the number should be closer to here so that only 20% of the distance between these two is there and 80% of the distance is here. So to do that, we we'll do this calculation, 1.5. We want it to contribute most to the value, so we'll multiply by 0.8 and 3 we want it to contribute the least in this case so it will be 0.2 and if you'll run off those calculations you'll notice that it's about a 1.8 in the picture you'll notice if we go to 1, 1 and a half, 1 and 3 quarters, 1.8 would be about right here you'll notice that that distance is about 20 percent of the data, 20 uh, percent of this um, interval length and that distance is 80% of that interval length. Okay, let's look at one more example here. Let's suppose that we're looking for the first quartile now, Q1. That would be the 25th percentile. So that means that we'd be looking for, out of these 10 data points, we want to have no more than 25% of them below what this number ends up being. So that would be 2.5 of the, of the 10 data points below there, no more than that. If we looked at uh, above there, we can have no more than 75%. That would be a 7.5. And 
in that case then, this uh, the 25th percentile will have to be this number. There's no choice. It has to be 3, or else we'd have more than 25% be below if we moved above 3, or we'd have more than 75% above if we moved below 3. So 3 is the only possibility in that case. Okay, that's the idea.